or I'm going to do it from the rip. At their most toxic, at their most toxic, which gender loves gossip? Which gender loves drama? And which gender gets totally emotional when they get offended? You think you know what I'm about to say, but yes, I'm talking about men. Stay tuned. Yes, it's Chris, the Dating Doc, and I'm doing a Dating Doc Raw. Dating Doc Raw is unedited, unfiltered. I just pretty much just say what's on my mind. We're going to talk about why the manosphere right now is more addicted to drama than development. Here's my theory. Development is boring. And that's the sad part. Development is boring. Men knowing that they have to sacrifice time and energy to level up is boring to them. They'd rather stick on YouTube watching the drama and getting their dopamine fix. They'd rather go back to their video games. They'd rather go back to those websites, PH, if you know what I'm talking about, rinse and repeat. Because back in the days, it was a complete opposite. The charlatans, the jesters, which were the clowns, the people that entertained the king's court, they're like laughing stock. They're like, okay, whatever. Meanwhile, the philosophers, the warriors led the country. Now we got a flip flopped. Now we got the clowns. The clowns are the king's court. They're the ones that got the views. They're the ones that got the followers. And we see that as a narrative because, again, men have been made to be weak. And when you are weak, you find things that will make you stronger boring. You will find entertainment, obviously, fun, right? It's, it's a lower fruit hanging off the tree, so it's easier to grab that. Men, okay, if I want to use the analogy, men aren't climbing trees anymore. They're not really doing what they need to to be on their, on their level. And, and what makes me laugh is that people talk about development. They talk about fitness and crypto, right? Fitness and crypto. And I got that. Fitness, there is no excuse. You need to work out. You need to be healthy. But don't just do it for the ladies. Don't just do it for a game. No, you got to be strong. You got to be able to protect yourself. You've got to be able to be flexible enough to where you're not getting back pain. Okay, so you see how I'm talking about flipping the script on true development. Crypto, all right? The reason that a lot of these date coaches are now going to crypto is because there is still a lot of ambiguity in it. And their mindset is making a quick buck, just like their overpriced dating course. Okay, so you see the mindset. These clowns are running the manosphere. And on top of that, they get overly emotional if you go at them. Okay, if you're in college, are you completely worried? Are you, are you even, do you even care, unless it's a family member, do you really care what a little boy in second grade at the sandbox said about, said about you, the one that's in college? No, because that's way beneath you. You understand that's a kid being a kid. But nowadays, the kids and the experts are all combined. It's one big jumbo. So you can't tell the difference. You, you're thinking, well, he got a lot of views. He got the ladies on the show. So I, I, I guess they know what they're talking about. Oh, did this guy, you know, he, he's a convicted felon. Okay, his face looks like the moon landing. But I guess he got game because he got a platform. Y'all need to quit. Quit with that. The loudest might be on YouTube, but they may not be the experts. I bet you there's some guys running the streets right now or running the corporate board that got more game when it comes to dating. That got more game on staying stoic and not being overly emotional. You got people literally losing business, reinvesting and buying other businesses. And they're stoic. Meanwhile, you got YouTube drama and people are just in an upheaval. They get they get all kinds of emotional and copyright strike because I'm offended. Now, you need to listen to real men out here. We need to truly develop. Because right now, we're sounding more like the extreme feminist. That's it. It's just a, a, a cycle of civil war and drama. Now, what I propose... What I propose, and I doubt it's going to happen because there's too many juvenile egos running around, is instead of even being on this platform, is having a Netflix for male development with all these experts. 
Okay. And if you're talking the same thing, if you're recycling, you're just swagger jacking from another person talking about what's a high value man, what's an alpha male and all this jazz and it's rinse and repeat. You obviously don't belong in this network because there's nothing original. Now, if you're talking about attachment issues and how you grew up affects the kind of adult you are. If we're talking about conflict resolution skills, if we're talking about how to dress for success, if we're talking about the the advancements in medicine, right, that make can make you more of a of an enhanced athlete. And I'm not talking about, you know what, you know, that's the kind of information that should be there for men. How to be good fathers, how to be good leaders. Because nowadays what I see online, they aren't men that I see as like community leaders. They're, they're not men that I even see as, as can be responsible fathers by the way they act. But unfortunately, development is boring. Drama keeps you glued to your seat. Drama keeps the views coming. And the sad part is there's a lot of good folks out there. That they want the views. They want to. I, I'm included in that. I'm totally included in that. I'm going to own up to it. I have some beneficial videos that I know could help men. But I have got to ward it in a different way. I got to I got to do a little Trojan horse to make it make it palatable. I got to put a little bit of sugar on the vegetables, even though that don't taste right, to have men look at the content. But I don't want to bend my integrity too much. I don't want to fake the funk so much that I lose myself for some views, for some subscribers, chasing clout while losing myself in this. I don't want to do that. But we truly knew, do need to look at an actual empowerment network. I've heard all kinds of acronyms out there. Okay, I've heard, I've heard people that are trying to do this, but the same folks that try to do some sort of federation of men all of a sudden exclude other types of men. Or the self-imposed presidents of an organization and then go back and talk about men. Or a group of men. We need to do three things. We need to know the difference between value, true value. I ain't talking about no Walmart great value. True value and the clowns, regardless of views, regardless of popularity. Who's actually going to make you propel? If you're a 20s, a 30s man, who's going to propel you to be an actual adult? Okay, who are the content creators that are actually acting more like men? Like maybe the father you never had instead of a peer, instead of a clown. That's the first step is we need to be able to hold accountable and learn where that drawing line is at. Line in the sand between beneficial and not. Number two is we need to be able to establish some sort of true network and not network to trade for views and trade for subscriptions. And then, no, I'm talking about. People are coming together like Voltron. Everyone has their different elements. Everyone has their own expertise in the game. All right. And number three, it needs to be community driven. Community needs to be able to tell us, hey, look, we want to learn more. What are some tips and tricks for us to be able to work a court case so we don't get messed up when it comes to alimony so we can get the best for when it comes to child support access or child support payment or the best way to smash an interview or the best way to counter accusations of sexual assault, sexual harassment at work. This is true stuff. This is real stuff. Okay. This isn't no Beavis and Butthead talking about how they don't hook up with Knight Riders drama. This is true stuff. This is what can level up men. It might be your vegetables, okay? It might be your little salmon without the soy sauce. It might be the boring stuff. But we truly need to stick to mentorship over this drama. If not, then what are we, kids? Kids over the age of 21? Are we trying to really level up? Oh, and one last thing. We can't just level up in spite of women. We need to level up as men. Not just because some of us have a disdain for women. No, we need to level up because we only have one life to live, and because we're men. All right, let's do this. Dating Doc signing out. Peace.